hi guys hi my lovelies you're welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're welcome my name is Oti I create content on sewing tutorials and turban cap and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much I really appreciate you in today's video I'll be showing you guys on how to make this luxury bubble it is very easy to make I absolutely love the design of the neckline and I explain in details on how to create it. So if this is what you would love to learn how to make, sit back, relax and enjoy the video. My fabric has been folded into two, one for the front and one for the back as you can see. I'm using Ankara fabric. This type of fabric is called tribal print. Then, for the design in front, I'll be using Ashoke. Feel free to use any plain fabric of your choice. You can use Duchess, you can use crepe, you can use Mikado, but make sure that you iron interfacing to it. So, let's continue. From the starting line, I'll be marking neck width 3 inches neck depth for the back one and a half inches neck depth for the front 15 inches from the point i mark 15 inches i will measure one inch inward from the one inch I'm going to connect straight to the neck width. Then I will curve the back neckline. From my center back to my sleeve, I'm going to measure 19.5 inches. At that point, I'm going to measure one and a half inches for my shoulder slope. Then I'll connect to the neck with For my sleeve opening, I'm going to measure 12.5 and I'll connect into a straight line. Shoulder to my hip line is 25 inches. Then the length of my dress is 63 inches including aiming allowance. At my hip line, I'm going to impute my hip measurement divided by 4 plus 3 inches. I impute the same measurement to the hem. Then I connect into a straight line. I join the measurement to meet the sleeve opening. Then I curve the sleeve to join the hip line. At that point, I'm going to measure one inch inward. Then I'll connect it back to the slope. That's my sleeve. It will make the sleeve to relax and look fine. From shoulder, I measured in inches for my pockets and seven inches for my pocket opening. Before cutting out, I added half an inch to the shoulder. 
then I'm going to cut it out. I'm cutting the back neckline first, the shoulder slope, and then I'll cut the rest of the bodies. After cutting, then I notch where my pocket opening will start from and where it will end 7 inches up. So I'm going to remove the back bodies, then I will continue with the front. So I'm going to cut the front neckline I cross check the measurement before cutting it cut out the front neckline like so From the neck depth, I measured half an inch. Then I rule into a straight line. Then from the apex of the neckline, I measured half an inch to join with the line. Then I'm going to use my scissors to cut it like so and I'll stop at the line. So the next thing to do, I'm going to open it up, I'm going to join the front and the back bodies together at the shoulder so before I join the bodies together at the shoulder I'm going to fold the back bodies into two and I'm going to notch the center back fold your bodies into two like so and notch the center back Then I'm going to take to my sewing machine. I'm going to join the front and the back bodies together at the shoulder width half an inch. Same allowance. I've joined the bodies together at the shoulder as you can see. So from the midpoint of the back neckline, from where I notch, I'm going to measure the neckline. I'm going to measure the neckline to the front. And stop at the front notch. Whatever measurements you have, please add extra 3 inches to it. It is better to have excess than to have shortage. So I'm going to remove the bodies and work on the actual okay, the neckline design. After measuring the neckline, what I got was 19 and a half inches. I'm going to put the ash okay on fold as you can see. Then I'm going to measure 23 inches. 
add extra inches to the neckline measurements and make sure that it is on fold like so so i'm going to cut on fold 23 inches i'm still going to trim out the excess later i prefer to have excess than to have shortage Remember that when we were drafting the neckline, I measured one inch on fold. So open it up, I'm going to measure from one notch to the other. I have two inches. From one notch to the other, what I have is two inches. This would determine the wideness of your collar whatever you get add half an inch to it when cutting on the ashoki or whatever fabric you want to use let me go over it again when cutting on your ashoki or whatever fabric you want to use for the neckline the wideness of the neckline would determine what you have on the bodies so from one notch part to the other you will measure what you have whatever you have add half an inch to it when cutting on your fabric i hope it's clear on the ashoke i rule my starting line then from the starting line i measured five inches I rule that into a straight line, then I cut it out. I'm wearing the same neckline as you can see it's just that the one I'm drafting now is going to be a little bit longer than what I have on right now so the next thing to do you will take your tape place it at your center back like so then measure where you want your neck depth to stop at mine is 14 inches if you don't want your neckline to be as low as mine you can use 12 inches but mine is 14 inches take note of it the folded edge of the ashoke is my center back so from that center back i'm going to measure 14 inches And I'm going to rule that into a straight line. Then I'm going to find the midpoint of the ashoke. I'm going to rule that into a straight line. I'll take to my sewing machine I'm going to sew a straight stitch on the mark on the straight line I'm going to sew a straight stitch please when sewing back stitch two to three times from the starting then at the end back stitch two to three times as well so I'll do that and show us the next step this is how it looks after sewing so I'm going to fold to the right side like so then I'll take to my overlocking machine and I'm going to overlock the edges before sewing it to the 
bodies. Before you sew it to your bodies, I advise that you wear it to see how the neck depth looks like. You can make adjustments at this stage before sewing it to the bodies. In case the neck depth is too low, you can bring it up. And in case the neck depth is too high, you can bring it down at this stage before sewing to the bodies. Because after sewing to the bodies, there will be no adjustment it will now require you to lose everything that is to lose the ashoke if you want to adjust it so to avoid that stress always check it on your mannequin or on yourself before sewing to the body so let me show you guys on how to make adjustments in case if it's too low or it's too high so you open it back in case you want to adjust it So at this stage you can make adjustments in case you don't like the neckline maybe it's showing your cleavage and you don't like that so all you need to do after opening it up you will measure one inch upward or one and a half inches upward it depends on how you want it then you sew it up and back stitch then in case the neckline is too high it's not low enough you don't like the way it is you will lose it and bring it down measure like one inch downward or one and a half inches downward and stitch it downward you will lose it and stitch it downward and back stitch as well i overlock the edges of the neckline because ashoke frays it frays a lot so the next thing to do you give it a good press then after that you are going to fold into two like so to get the center back please don't notch it or don't notch ashoke if you are using ashoke because it will start fraying from there then pin the center back of the ashoke to the notch part of the center back pin it then you take to your sewing machine you are going to sew from that center back to the front neckline where we notch you stop there you sew it with half an inch you can pin it round first then you will move over to the center back again and sew it on the other side of the neckline to the notch part of the front neckline with half an inch I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to explain so I'm going to pin it down first of all I'm going to pin down one side and sew then pin down the other side and sew this is me on the sewing machine So from the center back, I'm going to start sewing half an inch. I remove all the pins. I don't like sewing with pins. So I'll start sewing with half an inch seam allowance like so. I'm starting from the center back. I back stitch as you can see. So I'll place the ashoke to the edge of the neckline like so i'm going to sew it with half an inch till i get to the notch part and i'll back stitch there You sew it gently you don't need to rush at this stage just take it gently 
that's the notch part i've gotten to the notch part of one side of the neckline so i'm going to back stitch as you can see so i'm going to move to the center back again and so on the other side I hope you guys understand so I'm going to continue sewing I'll back stitch again and continue sewing with half an inch till I get to the other side of the neckline that is the notch part just take your time be sewing it gently don't rush So when I get to the notch parts of the other side of the neckline, I'm going to back stitch. As you can see, I back stitch, and that's it. After sewing, this is how it looks. So I'm going to tuck in it inward to the wrong side and fold in that part and flip it to the wrong side. I'm going to cut out the excess fabric that I have. So I'm going to stitch the half an inch. I'm going to stitch from one notch part to the other as you can see. I'm going to stitch from one notch part to the other then I'm going to cut the excess fabric and overlock the edge I'm going to measure my sleeve opening then I'm going to cut band for it I'm going to be cutting band height of 5 inches so when I fold it it will give me 2.5 I'm going to use half an inch to join it to the sleeve then I'll be left with two inches so I'm going to cut two pieces for the band one for the left one for the right after that I'm going to join the sides and M the lower parts this is the final stage guys we've come to an end of today's tutorial if you find my tutorial helpful please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you've not done so also remember to click on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be notified i have lots of luxury booboo tutorial coming your way until i come your way next please stay safe and remain blessed Thanks for watching. Love you all. Bye.